This live is gonna be all over the place, I think. Oh, also my daughter, for some reason, left her money in here. So, hello, welcome. Um, I'm gonna be doing lots of cleaning and organizing in this um, live, so it's not gonna be too much crafting happening, but you will get to see lots of goodies that I'll be putting away, all, all crafty stuff, and I'm gonna open up a package. Um, where am I gonna put her money? Well, we're just gonna put it over here. Oh right, I need to switch the laundry. Okay. I'm gonna wait for a few minutes for a few more people to hop on before I open up a package. So we'll do that pretty quick in the beginning here, but um, I basically have three different hauls that I need to like put away because I'm not using this stuff and I have some amazing things in here. Um, one of these bags you guys haven't seen me open yet. It's um, a really large Timu haul, so I'm not gonna show in depth what I got, but you'll see me, I'll just be putting it away. And then I went to Joanne's today and got a couple of things, so you'll get a little sneak peek, but again, yeah, I guess this is kind of like a little sneak peek. Also, I saw, I randomly saw a few videos pop up where people used uh, lunch bags to create some really cute little journals and like envelopes. And so I grabbed these from my kitchen because I'm hoping that today or tomorrow I'm gonna play around with that and see what we can come up with. So I'm gonna set those behind me. I try to keep my in progress projects on the desk behind you guys. But what I really wanna focus on putting away and organizing is I have tons of different pages that I use in journals. And so I wanna put those away. Let's grab the things out of the bag. So um, I got some a couple new paper pads today. Also, I and by the way, it's a, a hyper day for me. I have like lots of energy that needs to come out. So if I'm talking fast or all over the place, you you have been warned. Um, it's these days when I like respond to all of my messages that have been waiting. So. Yeah, anyways, um, I broke a needle on my sewing machine and I don't think that I've ever done that before. So I hope I got the right needles. I grabbed ones that seem like they're a basic needle. So we'll see. Um, I'm gonna grab this little doodad for thread because I got a bunch of new threads. I am gonna just add them to this little organizer thing that I have here. I have my comments, by the way, on my phone down here because it's charging. Um, but so let me say hi to everyone. Hello, Dawn. Emerald's mama, Emer Emerald Mama's Creations is in here. And oh wait, do you have two? Am I mixing this up? Is there two different, do you have two different? But, well, anyways, my mind is stumped right now. Wait, <laughs> sorry guys, never mind. Um, anyways, I have a package that I'm opening from Dawn of Emerald Mama's Creations, but now I'm confused because do you have two different accounts that you just messaged on? <laughs> anyways, you must be the same person <laughs> or I'm very confused. Hi Chalet, hi Stacy and Sandra and Bex and Sherry, call me Glitter, hello. World Peas Journals, that's a cute name. Hi Mary, hi Megan, okay. All right, so I don't have a ton of, no. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. I knew that you did because you usually comment on Genevieve Dawn, but it makes sense because you have a YouTube channel uh, where I'm guessing most of your creation stuff is on Emerald's Mama's Creations, probably, right? <laughs> but for a minute I was thinking, Wait a minute, did I mix this all up and there's just an, there just happens to be another person with like the same name? Anyways, we're opening a package from Don, who is on here, Genevieve, Genevieve Don. Okay, I am adding my new threads to this. So I went to Joann's today. I actually found some really cute paper pads and had a really hard time picking. 
um, I took you guys along to Michael's at the beginning of the week looking for paper. I thought I had found some new paper pads, but a lot of people told me that most of those were not new. They were like re-published, um, and that might not be the right word, but such a bummer. But I think I found new paper pads, or at least they're new to my location at Joann's. And yeah, and then I got some threads and I, this is so cute, look at that. So these threads are the brand Gutterman, I think you say it, Gutterman. Um, they are buy three, get three free. And I buy the basic ones, so they're $2.50. So with the sale, they're $1.25. I know they're like a smaller spool of thread, but I love the quality and they work so nice on my sewing machine. So I stocked up on those because I'm gonna be doing a lot of sewing. Also preparing for April's um, Patreon, which is gonna be a travel theme. And we're gonna open up something that will be going along with that. I'm gonna keep my new paper pads out because I'm gonna be doing some projects with those. I'm not gonna show you exactly which ones I got because I have a whole video coming, but you got a little peek. You might've been able to zoom in. Okay, also look at this amazing, gorgeous wallpaper. Um, it's like gold foiled, kind of iridescent, a whole roll. And I got this from Timu. And I'm obsessed. I made a journal from it somewhere. But I'm gonna put this over here with all of my wallpaper. Um, oh boy. See, I have even more. I'm probably just not gonna be able to organize everything I want today, but that's okay. I'm going to grab my little paper organizer and we'll get started with opening up my happy mail in a minute. Okay, trying not to, I'm going to go around this way. <laughs> okay, I've been really liking this organizer for papers. I don't know if you can quite see it, but I got it from Amazon like last summer, I think. Okay, so before I get into, there's no way I'm going to have time to organize all of this now that I'm looking at it, but that's okay. We'll do what we can. And I'm going to put my phone up here for now. Let me make sure I've said hi to everyone. Um, I don't know if Tim Holtz will be putting out new Halloween ephemera. Funny enough, since I was just at Joanne's, they... My Joanne still has Christmas stuff out and it's really weird to me. It's not on clearance or anything. It's almost like, yeah, I don't, I don't know what they're doing. Um, but I feel like the Halloween, the Tim Holtz Halloween stuff usually comes out in the summer, right? I'm pretty sure. So honestly, like, you know, it's still going to be, well, maybe it comes out sooner, like on the website. I don't know. Okay. Real quick, I don't want to talk too much about Patreon, but I mean, if you guys are here and you follow me, you know I talk about it a lot because it's a big part of what I do for work. Um, so for April, we're doing a travel themed, um, so it's travel themed journal packs. I won't talk too much about Patreon, but if you want information, I usually always have some openings and you can just go to my Patreon or message me to ask questions. But yeah, travel themed journal packs. I'm super excited. In my head, I'm seeing little miniature passport journals. Um, we have some things here. I've been kind of collabing with other either creators or small Etsy shops um, in my Patreon journal packs. Um, number one, as a way to widen your horizon, <laughs> to um, share with you other small shop owners to maybe let you sample something from this person. And so for April, I'm so excited to be working with Dawn or Genevieve Dawn, she's in here. Um, and she had, I have her links in the description, but she has an Etsy shop. She has a YouTube channel called Emerald's Mama's Creations. I think that's, I'll have to look, but I'm pretty sure that's the channel where you'll see her crafty content. Maybe you do upload on your name, I'm not sure. Um, so I'm going to open this up. She has so nicely, um, uh, what am I trying to say? She has 
agreed to being a part of April and she's helping us out and it's super fun because it means we get to try out like other brands. It's not a brand, but you know what I'm saying. Um, and it's super fun. So first of all, it's wrapped super cute. Look at this. It's like a vintage kind of post office look to it. Hi, Carolyn. So I'm gonna carefully undo this. My kids uh, are at my mom's house today. They're on spring break, so it's been a little tricky to work this week, but my mom's birthday is today, so she has my kids, which is funny, but she wanted to hang out with them. Um, and then we're having a birthday dinner for her tonight. Sometimes she hops on. I should have told her I was going to be on here. Hi, Marissa. How are you? Perfect. I got, I got that information right then. Okay. And I, you know what? I will probably end up doing something with this fabric also. I'm not sure yet, but it, this would be really cute tags to go along with the travel theme. So I will be holding on to that. So thanks for wrapping it so cute. Whoops. And um, yeah, again, just even if you don't want to do any shopping, I hope that you'll go check out her YouTube channel, which is linked because I always want to share as much love as I possibly can. Okay. So first of all, this is packaged super nice, but um, let's see here. I'm wondering what, what I shall open first. Let's open this one right here. Oh, thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, I totally could make it more than enough for a journal, but I instantly just saw like fabric tags and I could make more than what I need because um, the different Patreon tiers get certain things and like my orchid tiers usually get something extra so I'm always looking for like one additional crafty thing to make and I usually have to make like 30 or 40 this would be the perfect amount for that but I'm just throwing out ideas Lena hi um also you may have messaged me but did you see that you won one of my giveaway prizes and you may have already seen it but if you didn't you won one of the giveaway prizes so I, um, I just need your address so I can send that. I'm, I'm <laughs> peeking ahead because I see kind of like the main thing that is in here. Well, first of all, super cute book pages. I Ooh, I love envelopes. Atlas envelopes, that's a really good idea. So there's some goodies in here, obviously. Like goodies, you know, like things that... This is cool. My son has a lot of comic books. I've never thought to use comic book pages. Okay, super, I'm guessing, um, no, I didn't check and you can chime in here if you want. I'm guessing probably some of these things might be in your Etsy shop, in her Etsy shop. I could be wrong though, as organized as I'm not right now, but I'm excited to open this package because, so this is gonna be a part of the, um, April journal packs and we have some super cute, these are gonna be so cute, Atlas tabs. And I'm so excited for this next package. And thank you to her for taking the time to create and make the journal packs even more special and fun. Like this is such a help to me, which is why I always wanna spread the love as much as I can in return. But anyways, I won't take them all out, but, um, they are Atlas tabs, and I wish I had this punch, or maybe it's a die, but either way, it'll be super cute and perfect for, like, these will be so cute if I end up making the passport journals, that could be cute. I'm gonna include them separate so the recipient can decide what to do with them, but I mean, you can do so many fun different things with these cute tabs. So there's also, I'm trying to keep this packaged up kind of nicely, but this will give you guys a preview of kind of what to expect for April's pack. And I just realized I should probably not take so long. These are cool. I like this one too. These are just a different shape. And again, they're out of like Atlas paper or map paper. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but. Oh, look closely at the envelope front. Oh, oh. See, I'm glad that I'm opening this with you because I probably, I bet it says, I bet Oregon, right? 
because I see Seattle, Tacoma. That's cool. Oh, that's so thoughtful. Oh, thank you. This is cute. I'm going to put this in my personal journal. Um, okay, and then the next fun thing that I plan to be including, and thanks because this was like an extra thing that she ended up including. Actually, I'm going to show it to you like packaged up because it's so nice, but they're playing cards. So if you're a Patreon member, you know that every month I include either a postcard or a playing card or one one item that's kind of like the same for everyone, if, if that makes sense. And so she gave us so many awesome vintage playing cards. And again, in the travel theme, these are so cool. Some of them have pictures on the backs. And I mean, yeah. I avoid buying vintage playing cards, even though I'm obsessed with them, but I don't usually buy them for these packs because buying vintage ones can be so expensive. If you're buying them from like, um, like an antique shop or something, they can be so darn expensive. I mean, I know that there's ways to get them more affordable and stuff, but either way, I'm very, very appreciative. And I'm so excited that I get to share these with all of the Patreon members. So thank you so much, because that was definitely something I wasn't expecting. These are labels with her information. I'm going to set these aside because we already chatted about that. And I just want to make sure I'm looking on. Oh, I need something to drink. I'll get it in a sec. <laughs> okay. Awesome. So also, yeah, keep in mind that some of what I'm showing you are things that she has in her shop. I'm guessing especially this pack. You may have already told me this, but I think you are understanding how my brain works. This looks like a really cool um, paper pack. So she has written on here, which is, I'm glad, 30 pages from a collector's stamp catalog. Random pages from a kid's Atlas school workbook. Oh, so these are all things that I can also use in the travel theme. Um, random pages from Letters of the Century book and other pages from a German cookbook. That's awesome. And it's all packaged so nicely. It can be really fun buying book pages um, from Etsy shops, like especially if you're looking for something specific. Hi, Rhoda, how are you? I'm just gonna take a quick little peek and then I'm gonna get on to organizing. But you will kind of be seeing these things throughout the next month because we're almost in April. And you'll see me working on the travel theme journal packs. So even if you're someone who is like, oh, I kind of want to be a Patreon member, but I'm not sure. You can always wait till the last minute. As long as you're signed up by the 15th of that month, um, you've reached the cutoff date and you will be guaranteed a pack. If you sign up after the 15th, you will get a journal pack, but it may be a different theme just depending on what is still available. But um, these are really cool pages. I don't have anything like these. I will probably end up using these as some part of, ooh, these could be cool pages in my little mini passport journals that I'm thinking of in my head. I don't have the prototypes made yet. But map pages, really cool too. I'll just kind of quickly show you guys. Oh, really cool. And everything's packaged so nice, but this is cool. Look at that. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for sending this stuff and thanks for helping with Patreon. It took me kind of a long time to get the courage up to kind of start including people. I have a hard time asking for help and I never want anyone to like feel like I'm taking advantage of their time and help. So I'm trying to get much better about that. And I think that it's honestly such a cool way to collaborate. Um, and so then obviously my main goal is just, just to send the person as much love, even if you're just watching their YouTube channel. You'll probably see me, um, you'll probably see me partner up with other people who maybe don't have a YouTube channel, but maybe they just have an Etsy shop. Um, like uh, in February, I partnered with Kara Brandon. She does have a YouTube channel, but hers was her, she, um, she does printables in her Etsy shop. So I'm trying to definitely get like a wide variety of shops that I can share with you guys. So thanks again. 
Yeah, I'm actually really, really excited for the travel theme. I, I have a lot of ideas in my head and I can't wait to start putting them together. And I'll start working on that um, next week, so when my kids are back in school. I ought to grab a drink, I'm sorry. Here, I'll read the comments as I go. <laughs> I'll be right back. You wouldn't be alive without something like that. Oh, that's a cool idea. Oh, Megan just reminded me. Um, I do actually have stuff left from that. It's just in my stash. That's, um, but yeah, you're right. Lots of travel things. And I know that I haven't used all of it. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking real quick. The junking journaler, the, the junking journaler boxes. Why can't I? Oh, but this one was the, the backpack. Yeah. So that's one thing about like, I'm curious how you guys organize your themed journal items, because let's say you like working with different themes. I should start organizing also like travel, botanical, vintage, fairies. It's nice to organize all of those things by theme, because then when you go to do a journal, you have everything there. But I don't have that much space and you guys probably don't either and I think my brain doesn't really work that way so I just put all my washi tape together all my paper together but that makes it hard sometimes to remember that you have things that work for a perfect theme so I'm always curious like you know how how the heck to organize that but anyways I'm gonna start organizing all of the papers that are from the last two team hauls so I will just be pulling those out and we can chat while we're, while I'm doing that and like this kind of stuff. I don't know how to organize this. It's this really cool like coffee dyed, it's not, it's almost like coffee filter paper. I want to try embossing it, um, but I'm going to put it with my wallpaper and call it a specialty paper. That's what we'll do. I have tons of different papers to organize, so I'm just going to start by pulling them out. I did put the links to my last two Timu hauls and they do have like I have a special number that you can type in on the app and it will bring up all of the items that were in that haul and since I didn't show you guys one of these hauls yet in case you like pick something that you're interested in you should be able to do that I say should because they asked me not to put that video up until April, so I'm pretty sure the links still work. <laughs> but I got some super cute stuff this time around, like notebooky papers. Look at these. These are, this is a notepad, or it's like the little post-its, but um, it's vellum. So it's kind of like this too. Like it's just a little notepad. Where the heck do I put it? But for now, I have like this little thing where I have like collage papers. Oh geez. Yeah. Yeah. Mostly collage papers that are smaller. So I guess in my head, I kind of know that's where those things are. But then we have these little notebook, notebook papers. I hope you can see that. And these little kits come with like a matching envelope. So it's kind of like well, shoot, I like my, my envelopes are organized in a different spot. So do I take them out and just have the envelopes with envelopes or do I keep them with the set? I guess it kind of depends how I use them. Am I going to keep them together? I probably won't. Sorry guys, it's a lot of talking. I made sure I added extra cards and tabs. Oh, thank you. That's super sweet. And I always make a few extra, yeah, what you at, what you included in your package is the perfect amount. And it's a lot to make, so I really appreciate it. And I love how quick you got it to me. Mm. Okay, Diane separates her themed journal things <laughs> in totes. That's a really good way to do it. Uh, I try to organize, but my brain fights me on it. My brain fights me on a lot of things. Ooh, that's a good way to organize it too. I also have a bunch of those 12 by 12 um, 
organizing things. And I actually do use those to organize like Christmas and holiday things. So that's a good idea. Um, you know what? This is going to take forever if I'm actually opening all this up. I'm not going to open you up. You know what? I'm not going to. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. All right. I just need to do this quickly. Three o'clock. Okay, I have two hours before I gotta leave. But I'll probably just be on here another 15 or 20 minutes. Um, I won't be able to finish it all here because I need to also film. I got lots of vellum envelopes, so we'll put all of those over here. Six by six papers super pretty they're like a forest or they're like a mushroomy forest kind of vibe i guess for now i have an organizer over here that's perfect for six by six but i have a lot of my supplies for um my jumping spiders and bugs don't worry there's no dead bugs just floating around your paper that i use for your journal loose vellum papers. I guess I'm going to put those in this organizer here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Because they're kind of a full size. They're like nine by nine. And I have, oh yeah, I have other vellum in here. Okay, we'll do that. I have fun envelopes again. Cute little vintage envelopes. Stickers. The last time we organized together, I had a sticker folder. And actually, it's been going really well. I'll bring it back over and show you what I mean. Oh, yeah. Let me put some stickers back in it. Um, This was a clear little binder that was meant for... I'm not sure what it was meant for, but it has little um, envelopes in it or like pouches, I guess. And I've just been putting like loose sticker pages in this and I have it next to like my scissors and stuff so that I won't forget to reach for these things. So that's been going well. Yeah, and there are, I'll show you the little pouches. I think I got this thing from Timu also. I think it's for like money budgeting. Here we go. And so like I put some larger die cuts in here, die cuts that won't fit in my other organizers. Okay, I'm gonna fold these stickers because I really want this stuff to just fit. Fit, fit, fit. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The sun is coming out. Okay. We'll just set that there just in case. Um, I got some really cool stamp sets that I'll probably be using for the travel theme. I just threw those at me. Whoops. So these dies are so cute. Um, show you one actually I'll show you a couple that are cut out they're like bookmark sizes but they're super dainty and I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with those but I'm gonna do something cute and so I'm gonna keep these out I have a little I'm gonna bring this kind of so you can see it one of these rolling cards I like to put things out that I want for like inspiration I guess like sometimes finished projects I'll put in here. Let's see. I try to keep it clean, so. I'm gonna put the dies with the dies. Okay. That's just an extra thing that I need to cut out. Okay, 
these pages are always fun. There's like plants in there and I'm gonna put those. I already have some other paper just like it. It's very thin though. It's thin, but it doesn't really rip. So it works nice as like a liner, I guess, or collage paper, but um, you can't really clip anything on it. Okay, metal pieces. Okay, I got lots of cute metal book corners and I'm just gonna stick all of this over to the side where you can't see because I have an organizer. Well, actually, I'll just show you real quick. One of these organizers. So I'm just gonna set those there. Okay, oh my gosh, all this lace. I got a large lace tablecloth, like for really cheap off Timu, um, because when I package journals, sometimes I like to use fabric or lace and it can get kind of expensive to do that. So I thought I'll just get a really inexpensive tablecloth and use that. I got batting, I needed more of that, and some pretty trim, which I'm gonna put with my other trims down here and random lace down here. Okay, this is going quicker than I thought. Lots of clear stamps and yeah, I got some really cool travel themed ones. Um, I print, or sorry, I stamped them out so you can see. They're kind of like, well, you know who vibe, Tim Holtz vibe. I said you know who because I don't necessarily know if they're supposed to be a dupe and I don't want to talk about they. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, thank you, Rosie. So I have an organizer for clear stamps, so I'm just gonna put these up there. Oh my gosh, I need to go through that though. It's full. You know what? Maybe I should keep the travel themed ones out. When I'm working on either a themed journal or a uh, or a Patreon for the month, I start to, uh, what am I trying to say? I usually have like a, a, an organizer or a container where um, I will put all of those things so that all of the supplies are there for me, I guess. Does that make sense? It was like I lit one word out at a time. Yeah, so let's see, do I have, oh, Oof. my booty's so big I just rammed into that. Oh, I'm just looking for like a something, something. All of my, something like this is what I need, you know? But they're all in use, so. Okay, so we're just gonna forget that for now. We'll set those over there. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay. Oh, I can show you how I organize my stamps even though it's very unorganized now. And yeah, it'll make sense for me to bring it down so I can show you anyway. Okay, we're done with one. Okay, it's awful right now, but let me just show you. I'll just show you like real life, you know? And I just dropped one, so I'm trying to find it. So normally, <laughs> This is actually more organized. I purchased these organizers off Amazon. These like hard plastic or acetate kind of like envelopes, I guess. And I just put each of my clear stamps in one. Now, <laughs> it would be more organized. However, I have all of these single stamps from your creative studios and, oh jeez. I just don't have enough time to organize my craft room how I want. So they end up just getting thrown in here. So I'm just showing you because like people always say my craft room's organized, but it's not actually. I have very many places in here <gasps> ooh, that are um, not organized. I just got this idea. I have these gorgeous boxes from um, the Junking Journaler boxes, if you've seen. It might be a cool idea to 
this is gonna be a whole project, so I shouldn't do this right now, but it might be a cool idea to just put all of my stamps in one of these. So all my stamping supplies would be in here, and then I could have loose stamps as well. The only issue about that is if I do that, I'm afraid I won't reach for my stamps because I don't see them. Anyways, I'll have to figure that out later. I would like a better system. This worked well for me when I didn't have too many single ones, but yeah. So now you see. <laughs> yeah, okay, anyways. Okay, we got fabric. I'm gonna put this over here with my fabric. And I need to, oh geez, I didn't tell Maddie I was coming on alive, dang it. Poor, poor, poor girlfriend. I purchased an eyelet setter. However, I think it's actually a button setter. So I wanted to find a, an affordable option to share with you guys for eyelets because the crocodile is kind of expensive. So anyways, got that. Not sure if I don't, maybe it is an eyelet setter and I just don't know how to use it, but We'll just put we'll just tuck that away with my eyelids we'll just do that okay oh yeah I forgot that I actually did get travel themed postcards so we might be doing postcards and playing cards uh, so what I need is one of these like this kind of organizer oh right we just cleaned my son's room yesterday and I forgot he had an extra one Sorry guys, bear with me here. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna put my travel themed things in a pile and I will put them in something later. Okay, labels. Um, we have uh, cheesecloth. I'm gonna put that with fabric. Just wanna get all of this out of the bag. Have travel themed labels. Put that with the travel theme. Craft bags. I'm gonna put that with my basic supplies over here. I have lots of travel themed like postage kind of stamp stickers because I don't have all of the things pinned down for what I'm going to be making, but look at these fun stickers. I feel like they're like, they're like the stickers that you find like on luggage if you're traveling a lot. I, I don't know what you call them, but they're travel themed stickers, I guess. And that will be fun to do something with those. We have trim, it's gonna go over there. More of these white tags. I keep repurchasing these because I really like them. And I use them like crazy. So I'm gonna put these with my hands. Okay. We're getting somewhere. All right, these frames. We have like frame kind of die cuts. I don't know where to put those, so I'm just gonna set them there. We have more trim. Let's make piles, how about metal? We have bold pens. Seed packet envelopes, so cute. I was hoping to use these in last month's, but I didn't, so I'm gonna put these with my basic items. I will probably include these in like my journal packs. Um, we'll just put those right there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, oh boy, more fairy stickers. I guess I didn't use up all my fairy stuff. Travel theme, 
there's so much travel themed stuff here. This is going to definitely be a fun month. I have tons of like fairy stickers and I am going to put those these organizers. I'm not going to put them away right now because I need to be done on here in a minute, but I'm going to go like that and then I can put them away soon. Travel themed. Fairy. Loose fairy stickers. These are cute. They're little like journaling cards. See, like, where do I put these though? Um, I know. I will put them over here. I have a little clear acrylic like holder, and I try to put like pretty tags and things that I want to grab and put in journals. So that's what I did there. More postcards, like botanical theme. I'll probably use these for Patreon one month. Um, not this month, so I think that's what these might be. Oh, nope, more travel themed. I have so much travel. Y'all are going to get extra stuff this month, I have a feeling. Tons of big travel themed stickers. So put that in the travel theme. Stickers. These are like labels and little ephemera pieces. Almost done. Okay, we have graph paper, collage papers, which will go down here, lined colored papers, those will be fun for journals. This is like a large, it's very wrinkled, but it's like a map. And I was thinking I'll, I might cut it up and use it for something. I, I don't know yet what. I'll use it for something in the travel theme. Okay, clear adhesive pockets. I have a spot for those over here. We're almost done. I did not think I would get through. I still have a, a lot to put away, but okay. We have bulb pens and little mini um, paper clips, not paper clips. Uh, I forget what you call those. Okay. And a few loose fairy stickers. I have so many fairy stickers. But since they're floral, I feel like they go just fine with my general themes. Okay. I'm going to put my six by six papers over here. They're like loose papers. Envelopes and bags will go over here as well. These are fun things that I include in my basic journal packs. Oh boy. We have postcards over there. And then we'll just put all of these papers in here somehow. Whoa, I almost spilled that, y'all. I'm going to put the note card papers on top since they're smaller, so I'll see them along with these. These are really cool, like, ledger papers. They're not obviously real vintage, but it's just, like, this kind of ledger paper. And it's double-sided, and I got it from Timu. Um, I really like this paper, though. Super fun. I feel like I have so many different kinds of papers to use. I was hoping to get some coffee dyed paper. Like, like I want to buy it. I don't want to make it. I just don't have time to make coffee dyed paper right now. And it's so expensive to buy from Etsy, which I mean, it should be. It's, 
it's a long process to make, I feel. Okay, we're done with this. I'm gonna go put this back over here. And yeah, I didn't get to do too much interacting with you guys, but I'm gonna put these trims away. Oh, hey guys, wanna see my first ever journal? <laughs> AKA my diary. Here we go. Let's see, how old was I? Oh, this is 92. I think that means I was nine. That was it. That's where it's, that's where it all started. All right, anyways, I just gotta find a place now for all my travel themes, goodies, but there's so much. There's so much to pick and choose from for whatever I end up making. Yeah, I totally forgot that I got a hundred postcards, travel theme postcards. And hello if you're just hopping on. Oh, sorry guys, I'm just in organizing mode. Didn't see you hop on there. Um, Shelly and Sherry, hi. I'm actually just getting ready to get off though, dang it. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to figure out where to put these little things. Oh hey, that's garbage or recycling. Oh, it feels so much better though in here. Yeah, gotta figure out where to put that. And I think now I am going to work on using paper bags. Sorry, I just moved you guys. Um, to create some really cute little envelopes. And I'm gonna film that, so that's what I'm gonna be working on. I'm putting these labels. I just have some clear labels here. Putting them in this organizer. And then, ooh, I know where I can put these frames. I can put these frames in my little sticker pouch because it has individual pouches. I don't think these would fit in this is all. Let's see, maybe it will. Yeah. You know what, it kind of does. It's like those things that are just a little too big and they work. And now I have so many fairy themed stickers. Do I want to, they could almost have their own organizer. Jeez. Let me see. I might have one that doesn't have a lot in it. Yeah. Maybe. I think I can actually fit them here. These are also not very organized, but they're organized enough that I can open it up and see everything. You know, just don't have time to make it perfect. But anyways, I have so many of these cute little packs. Ooh, these are, I thought these were fairy themed, but they're like really pretty. Let me show you. They're clear, so I don't know if you'll be able to see too well, but I hope. They're botanical, but they're clear and they're really cute. They have little frames around them. So put those there. I just want to have all of my packs of things open because then I just feel like I can use it a little bit easier. But I'm probably going to log off here, guys. So I can get to some filming. Oh, let me see. Oh. The links to my stuff in your description. Oh, they, they don't seem to be working. Oh, I probably do. And I'm glad you checked that. I checked it, but I, I um, copy and pasted before because I was doing it for my phone and I wondered. So I'm glad you told me that. And I actually, I think, have you up. Oh, I have it right here. Copy. Yeah, sorry about that. And thanks for telling me. Um, I'm going to real quick post it right here, 
even though I guess you can't see the chat um, messages, what am I trying to say? You can't see the chat messages on the replay, but I will update that and I don't think I can update it now, or at least I have never figured out how to do that on a live. So once the replay is up, I'll go ahead and update your links. So sorry about that. I think that you are correct. I think I just copy and copied and pasted it, but like not yet. Anyway, you get it. <laughs> well, thank you. And sorry about that too. I want people to be able to find you. And I know like if you don't have clickable links, I mean, a lot of people, we're just all in a rush. So it's like people sometimes won't take the time to copy and paste. I'm guessing if you copy and paste it, it should work. But like on your phone, that can be tricky to do. Um, so I know how important it is to have clickable links. In fact, I have been needing to update my YouTube homepage for years. Well, ever since I got my new website, um, because on my YouTube homepage, it had a clickable link to my Etsy shop, but not to my website. And so if I had any new people come across my channel and they wanted to like check out like, oh, let's see what, does she have an Etsy shop or a website? They would just see my Etsy shop. And so I always get random Etsy sales from like new followers, which is fine and I appreciate it but I prefer people to go to my website and I didn't have a clickable link anywhere. Why did it take me almost two years or maybe it's been a year? How long have I had my website? I should figure that out. Anyways, I don't know why it took me so long to update that. Actually, I do. It was nearly impossible to find that setting to add the clickable link to your YouTube homepage. You can edit from your phone and add links if you go to your about page, but not on like your main page. And I don't know if you even guys know what I'm talking about. Either way, I figured it out, but it had to be done on a computer, which I'm rarely ever working on the computer. So, okay guys, well, that was uh, fun. And I am so excited to have that done. I have so much more organizing that I need to do, but this was a good start. Yeah, clear stamps will be my next task. And I'm not even sure what the heck will be the best solution. I'm going to keep all my travel theme stamps in this pile, though. All right, so, oops, did I accidentally um, pin? <laughs> I, sorry, call me glitter. I accidentally pinned your comment. And I meant to pin the link to Dawn's link. So I hope that you guys will take, oh, your Instagram link on your, oh, you're right. It is broken. And I tried updating that one. And one night I had my mom and sister help me. Like I would update it and I have the, the HTT, uh, I have the whole thing. So I don't know why that doesn't work. And so I thought it was just my phone and I had my mom and sister check it one night. And then I got sidetracked, so I'm going to write that down because I just worked on this last week. Um, we'll just write it right here. Insta link. <laughs> yeah, I'm never going to see that again. Insta link. Insta link. Because I want my <laughs> links to work. This is funny. Hi, Laurel. I'm actually just about to get off. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of technology. Okay, that's a lie. It, it's great for so many things. I get frustrated pretty easy when I don't know how to solve something is what I'm trying to say. Um, oh, I feel like I had one more thing I was going to tell you guys. My phone. Uh, what was that? Links. No. What was that? Darn it. I don't remember. It was probably not that important. Or was it? I never want to throw these away because I feel like they could <clears throat> be used for something. But what is that something? I'm not sure. But we'll put my receipt over here so I can write it off, Tom. It's a write-off. Yes, yeah, it's a write-off. 
Oh, shoot. It doesn't feel like a write-off when I gotta pay so much in taxes. Just like everyone else. Um, anyways, yeah. Oh, I, I think I know what I was gonna say. I was just waiting for a sec because I'm hoping that there's 31 people in here. If you guys can go click the pinned link to Dawn's um, links, at least go check out her YouTube channel. I would love to send her as much love as possible. She's, if you are just hopping on, she is, we're collabing or she's a part of April's Patreon. She sent some lovely things. You may have missed it if you just hopped on, but we're doing a travel theme. And um, she, yeah, she has a YouTube channel and an Etsy shop. So I would love to send her as much love. Go check out her crafty videos. But yeah, other than that, I think I'm actually gonna let you guys go. Hey, wouldn't it be cool to, as I keep talking, look at this closure. Can you imagine a journal with this closure? I've done one with a similar, but um, maybe I actually have done one with this one. I can't remember, but one day I'll use it up. It's very large. I should actually bring it out so that I remember to use it. Yeah. Okay, guys, I gotta go. It's been great. It's been real. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Bye.